Good morning, good afternoon, uh, good lunchtime if it's lunchtime for you. We are back with another Mere Mortals book review and today we've got Tribe of Mentors by Timothy Ferris, probably best known as Tim Ferris to those who um, listen to him through his various podcasts or have previously read most of his books. Now, Tribe of Mentors, what is it? Uh, it's a thick book, first of all. Look at this. This is a thick amount of pages. So it's 500 and... 70 odd pages um maybe a little bit more um but what you'll find with this particular book is it's actually quite quick to read so even though it's a little bit uh, it looks at first you pick it up and you think oh dear there's going to be a a big thing to get through it's actually not not as much and the other thing is it's one of those books that you're not meant to read cover to cover uh it's it's intended in a way that you can pick it up whenever you want to uh, and kind of find what you enjoy from it. So, what is the book all about? Uh, it's one of the late, it's the latest book uh, from Tim Ferriss currently. Uh, so he's published quite a few. You might know him from the Four Hour Work Week. Uh, he came up with uh, something similar, which is called Tools of Titans, uh, and now Tribe of Mentors. The premise of the book is simple. He reached out to 100 plus uh, really successful, well-known individuals uh, across a range of areas to find out. What are, if you, if you had to ask a particular question, eight questions that are going to, you know, help him move forward, help him understand uh, what he should do, how he should say no to things, uh, the biggest changes that impacted someone's life, he decided, you know, what if I ask this question to 100 plus people and get all the various answers, collate them into the one book, and what it is in essence is a tribe of mentors just as a book calls it it's the ability for you to pick up the book find a you know if you want to and the way he orders is quite quite smart but right at the introduction you have you have a bit of a look at all the different names of the individuals um who've actually responded uh, and you're able to just go and find okay well um i want to see what terry lachlan has said about these particular questions uh, how he says no to things what are his top books that he recommends or that he's gifted before uh, and he runs through quite a bit of a structure on those particular questions uh, i wanted to pull that out as well because it's the questions i think that are really important so uh, one of the things I, it's one of the quotes that i actually pulled out from the book is a well thought out question is almost half the answer right so he's actually uh, put a really deep thought process into the actual questions that get asked if you uh, listen into his audio you would know um, through his podcast he has quite a few uh, sort of set quick fire questions now this might seem a little bit similar to that but obviously it's thought out as, as well as a process so um, you know it, it ranges from what are sort of the books that you've given uh, purchased under a hundred dollars that have done the uh, the biggest value that positively impacted um, their their life uh, how failures have or apparent failures set themselves up for later success um, if you could have a billboard to display anywhere on the world, what would it say? What would it be? Uh, and so on, right? And then it gets a little bit deeper and deeper until it gets to the point of, you know, when the last five years, what have you become better at saying no to? And when you feel overwhelmed or unfocused, what do you do? So um, really interesting questions. Not all the individuals throughout the book answer all of them. And he also structures it in a way that is best uh, read so not all of them are all set up in the exact same structure some he's put some of the questions first so it reads a little bit better look overall the actual book was quite a joy to read uh, although some parts uh, if you're actually trying to read it cover to cover um, it's not going to get the most value that you would from it uh, it's much more one that i would envision having a book as sitting at home uh, on, on the uh, bookshelf or on the table uh, picking it up whenever you're feeling a little bit down or you want to get a little bit of i guess feedback or advice from some of the best in the world and going okay you know this is what such an individual would do uh yes i, I see what sort of methods they undertake uh some particular quote that they have one of the other things that tim does really well in this book is spacing it out with quotes uh, across it quite well so uh, you know i was talking a little bit earlier about you know it's 500 pages and it might seem a little bit daunting but you'll find that there's you know, big big pages of the book that are a little bit like this where there's giant quotes um that comes from the direct uh take up of what that particular individual who um is sort of presenting the questions back and, and answers um comes from and it sort of summarize a little bit of that context so it, it makes for really quick reads uh, i think each particular section when you look at those 
11 questions that can possibly be answered. Um, generally, it's about seven or eight pages. So it's really good to pick up, really refresh yourself on, oh, right, okay, this is what this individual said. These are the learnings that I can take away. Excellent. Put the book down, off you go. Overall, tribe of mentors, I, I would go down the path of an eight out of 10 for me. Um, eight out of 10 because I found like there was a lot of value that I got from it. Uh, not necessarily the traditional sort of book that you would read, again, cover to cover, but in the end, lots of value that's in there. Um, it, it's it's probably one of those much better digested over the, the long term, uh, something that you'd probably pick up year on year, uh, month to month, whenever you actually need it, as opposed to just deep diving in and, and taking everything in. So that is Tribe of Mentors by Timothy Ferris. I hope you enjoyed. One out.